What's up everyone? Today's tutorial is about how to retouch and whiten eyes in Photoshop and we're going to be using some simple simple methods and this time around we're not going to be using camera raw filter just want to do everything in Photoshop so that even people that don't have camera raw the plugin in Photoshop can be able to whiten their eyes in Photoshop so what we're going to be doing we are going to be whitening the eye of uh, this model and if I can go ahead this image was taken by Paxi's concept photography so it's the image you're going to be using for the eye whitening so we want to turn the, this image from from this initially to uh, this you can see the difference uh, before after before after so that is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial so let me come right here and I'm going to uh, delete that group so we start by duplicating the background there by clicking ctrl j on the keyboard to duplicate it so let's zoom in all the way in so so that we can see each and everything precisely so we want to remove uh, these uh, blemishes from this around the eye and these which are just close to the eye so get your spot healing brush yeah so we want it to be a quick tutorial so we want going with uh, the basics of the clone stamp and everything like the patch tool let us, let us get something simple and easy to use so just get it and start make sure you make it bigger than the blemish you want to remove by using the left and the right brackets on the keyboard so just uh, click over the blemish and to be automatically removed so remember the reason for retouching the eye is uh, each and every time someone looks at a close-up portrait or a close-up image that has been uh, posted or put out online maybe on a billboard uh, most of the times the attention uh, will be to the eyes first so that's why we want to uh, edit the eyes and it's the major emphasis for this tutorial so just keep on watching and you learn a thing or two about how to edit eyes in Photoshop so right now we are now uh, dealing away or removing uh, these uh, blemishes that may have come as a result of makeup going in places it was not meant to be applied so right now we are now on the eye so and now we are just first of all cleaning or clearing uh, the blemishes from different areas that are surrounding the eye so that is what we are doing and we are using a clone stamp tool so I think uh, we can see the progress so far before after before after so right now we are going to start the whitening of the eye and before we can do that let us first of all uh, remove uh, these some of these veins from the eye so you shouldn't remove each and everything just remove a few of uh, these veins remember we are still using a clone stamp tool and uh, sorry you're not using a clone stamp you're using the spot healing I don't know why I'm so obsessed uh, with uh, the clone stamp tool so you're using the spot healing uh, tool in Photoshop and you're just making a selection over some of the veins so you can see before after before after so if at all you feel you didn't do a decent job while removing uh, these uh, blemishes surrounding the eye you can keep on doing this so I just want to show you guys I don't want this tutorial to be a long one so that's why I'm really being fast with this tutorial so uh, for the eye whitening we are going to be using the photo filter in Photoshop and the hue and saturation and we're also go going to mask and use the brush and paint over this white area to whiten it so just come right here and now come to photo filter right here so when you come to photo filter uh, this is uh, the default for the photo filter so just come right here and select cooling filter 82 the reason for this is uh, we want something to uh, remove the warm tones from the eye of the model so after that has been applied just come back right here and now get your hue and saturation so when you get it make sure it is uh, on the master right here then uh, move your saturation all the way down to around negative 51 you shouldn't uh, desaturate it completely so just come to the hue and now turn it towards uh, the blue 
I think that is fine when you turn it all the way to uh, towards the blue but don't I think let's go in for 11 so I think we are done with that so we are going to group all these two uh, by selecting them and uh, sh click shift and you'll get uh, to click on these two layers so click ctrl g to group them so we can name this uh, layer eyes so uh, make sure it is selected this group so uh, click alternate on the keyboard and now click on this mask uh, camera like icon while holding down the alt button so when you click on it uh, you get uh, the default of uh, the eye so make sure come to your brush right here and when you click on it make sure your pass is at 100 and the flow is what at 100 and now make sure white is on the foreground and to get the default just click right here on these two boxes or you can toggle by clicking here to get white on top so when you get white on top make sure this mask is selected so uh, and now we are going to start painting over the white area make sure you remain or paint over only the white area and for this model's case she was putting on contacts in her eyes so you may be wondering what kind of eyes these are so i had to make a a, a little bit of clarification about that so uh just paint over only the white area and i'm sorry if i'm being too fast and i mean i may not be accurate with uh, my painting so when you're doing this guys you have to be perfect with uh, your painting yeah just be perfect and take your time you shouldn't be in a hurry yeah so remember we want to achieve uh, the best and when you're painting make sure you uh you don't paint over this area because uh, we may uh, you may end up ha having uh, unnatural eyes and eyes that don't look realistic enough so if at all you want to enhance this right here just come and paint over that area uh, to enhance it or boost it up a little bit so i think we are done and if at all you feel you want to delete uh, the area from the area you may have accidentally painted in make sure you get a uh, black on top so you can just come back and paint over that area to get back the default color you need to reveal so i'm going to and do that so i think we are done so let's see the before and after so before after before after so this is how we do white in the eyes in photoshop and if at all you feel uh this is too much for your liking just come to the opacity and you can uh, turn down the opacity to the one of your liking and for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to leave it at this right here and yeah guys this is how we do white in the eyes in photoshop and we have been using some simple tools for example a photo filter and the hue and saturation and we use the white brush we masked and uh we painted over the white area in photoshop and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have just landed on this video from this channel for the very first time i'm ronix from ronix photography Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another retouching tutorial on this channel. Stay blessed.